All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and assemble this um, little desktop computer. It needs a new hard drive. We're upgrading it to an SSD. So there's two of these little hand screws that you just undo like that. This piece can be a little bit tricky to remove. I get my fingernails in there, just hold on the back somewhere and then pull it like that. Okay, there we go. Next, we got to remove the front here. So there's these two clips. So you pull up on them. Oops, sorry, here and here. Pull up and then pull forward just like this. Okay, be careful because the wires are attached. So you just, I have it on here so that way I can tilt it because the bottom of this will hit the, whatever surface it's on. Um, you pull it out, it comes out like that. Okay, you see the CD drive here. We're going to disconnect this, so grab that connector and just pull that out. Um, the CD drive comes out with this little latch. Let me see if I can make it easier to see. Okay, so there's this here. You got to pull it like this all the way. Let me zoom out a bit. Once you do that, you should be able to slide this out just like that. <clears throat> you got one little screw thing here. Okay, we'll undo that. There's another one down here as well, so we'll undo that one as well. Okay, be careful with the front panel because it has all those cables attached to it. All right, so there we go. Get those two out. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, there's this little red thing here. You flip that up. It swings up like this. Once you swing that up, this whole thing can actually slide this way, okay? Once you slide it out that way, you can actually lift it up. You got the hard drive connectors here. There's the data cable, this bigger one, or sorry, the power cable, the bigger one, and then the data cable is the smaller one, so pull that as well, all right, <clears throat> then you can actually pull this whole tray out if you want to, um, the SATA data cable will come out, you can actually see the hooks down here that this little piece like slides onto, okay, to get the hard drive out, you have another one of these, just like the CD drive, pull that that way, and then push the hard drive out here, okay? Pull it out, and there we go. So there's the hard drive. Um, I already cloned it to a two and a half inch SATA SSD. Um, the SSD is much smaller, so <clears throat> much easier to put it back in here, but it will be loose in there, but don't worry. It will hold itself in place. You don't need to do anything with that. All right, so inside here, we got two sticks of RAM. Okay, so you got these little tabs, you pull them to the side here, just like this. Okay, it's really cramped, so just try and get in there, pull those two to the side, and then you got the other ones here. I think you're not supposed to pull these, yeah, these ones you don't pull. So you pull those to the side, then you can lift this side up, and you can pull that out. And this RAM is DDR3-1333, DDR all right, so PC3 RAM. Excuse me, we'll get both of these out. This is on an Asus or Asus motherboard. There's the um, heatsink fan here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can show this. All right, these kinds of um, heat sinks, if you wanted to remove them, you twist it, the arrow is actually pointing in the direction you twist it, then you can pull it up and that will release the plastic clip, which when you push it down, it actually spreads out that way. When you pull it out, it, it um, sorry, when you pull it up, it allows it to close, and when you push it down, it pushes like a plastic thing that opens it that way to keep it attached to the motherboard. We're not going to take that out, because if you take that out, you're going to have to redo the thermal paste. <clears throat> you can see there's a whole bunch of SATA um, connectors down here, so if you wanted to add more, you could. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do the RAM upgrade. So the RAM here... Um, DDR3, this is a four gig stick. So there were two four gig sticks for eight gigs total. The customer wanted to upgrade it. So we're gonna try with uh, 16 gigs. We have two eight gig sticks. <clears throat> okay. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. You can see here also eight gig DDR3 1333. Okay, so let's go ahead and just tear this open. And we're gonna add these two sticks of RAM. Hopefully they work because during shipping it looked like looks like they got shifted a little bit. All right. <clears throat> and you want the smaller end of this side to go towards the part that doesn't move. Okay. So get that in the slot first. Sorry if you can't see, but get that in the slot there, line it up, don't push it down yet. Get it both sides in. All right, there we go. And then push down and push down on this side as well. 
it does take quite a bit of force to click it in. Okay, we got the second stick. We'll do the same thing, line that up, get that in, line up the other side, all right, perfect. And click that in, and click this in, okay. So there we go, we got the RAM all installed. Let's zoom back out, and let's go ahead and put the other stuff back in. Okay, so we have this tray again. So the data cable has to go through here first. So thread it through in there. Okay, make sure all these cables are out of the way. There's a lot of them, so make sure you pull those out of the way. All right, oops, sorry. Let's get out of there. Okay, then you kind of drop this in. There's the uh, protruding part. Oops, let me take this back out. So there's this part that you need to get obviously past that. And then once you do that, we should be able to slide it into place. So let's get this in there. Where'd this blue cable? Oh, the power switch connector somehow yanked itself out. So we're gonna have to figure that out or the computer's not gonna turn on. All right, so now that we got that, slide it into place. Okay, good. We'll put this screw back in here. Um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get down there once you have that slid in. So it might make, it might be easier to actually slide this out and lift this up. So that way we can get this in first, okay? So get this in, we'll connect the SSD there, and then we'll connect the power as well. Okay, just like that. Again, hold all the cables out of the way, get that down, and then again, slide that into place, good. We can swing this over to kind of help hold it in place, make sure it latches into the little notch there and then we'll just get these screws back in all right that one and the one at the bottom i know sorry you can't really see that but uh when you're if you're doing this on your own computer assuming you have the same one then you should be able to see all right we're going to flip that latch back to lock it even though there's no three and a half inch sata hard drive in there so it's not really locking to anything but that's okay Twist that. All right, we're gonna move this up again. Now we need to find out where this cable got yanked out from. Pull all these cables back through. Line up these little pegs here back with the holes down there. Okay, there we go. Line that all up. Oh, don't forget, we do have to also put the CD drive, optical drive back in. So get that one back in. Just put it through the slot. Slide it in, make sure to unlatch this thing as well, and push it, make sure it locks in. Oops, I think I didn't do it right. Let's get this, get that all the way in there. Lock that, there we go. Oh, okay, it's supposed to be sticking out a bit like that. Okay, and then get this back in. Can be tricky, make sure it's all lined up, okay, and then, click it all into place. All right, now where did this little power button cable come from? Give me a second, I think I'm getting some messages. Oh yeah, give me a second, I'll be back. All right, sorry about that, I'm back. Let's see if we can figure out, I might have to take the camera out so I can use it as a flashlight. Let's see if we can figure out where that cable came from. Hmm. Oh no, I don't see. It might be from down under there. That's not going to be good. That's going to be difficult to get out. I guess we got to take this thing back out and figure it out. Okay, I'll take this guy back out. I'm hoping the red and white wire is still connected somewhere, and maybe it's in that same area, similar area. Okay. Can we? Can we? 
There we go. Flip this latch back up. Slide that out. Let's see here. What's under there? Problem is, there's a lot of cables over here. So. cable out of my way okay good it's a normal motherboard that tells that's labeled so power button is to the at the top there hard drive LED already set okay so it goes up there is there supposed to be one in between I don't think so no oh okay Perfect. So, this power button cable goes, I don't think you can even see, right there. Right there. If you happen to accidentally unplug yours. There we go. Alright, let's put this thing back together. Sorry about that. Okay, hopefully nothing else gets yanked out again. Hold all the cables out of the way. Get that in there. Line that up and slide it in. Perfect. Put that back in. Get these two back in. Pretty simple and straightforward. And hopefully the computer is okay with the 16 gigs of RAM. Okay. Back in. Good. And then plug this guy in. Alright, there we go. Okay, get this piece back on. Make sure these cables come back through and don't get caught on anything. go. Perfect. And then we just get this side cover. Obviously get it lined up so that the little hooks go on and then slide it over. Then we get the two screws, put them back on and we should be good to go. I'm just going to power it up. Make sure everything's good and should be done. All right. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their device as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Links and methods to do that are in the description below. But um, yeah, that's it. See you all in the next one. Bye.